Hey everyone, welcome back to Retrospect. Today I'm showing you how my enamel paint collection has grown, and it's grown quite a lot. I actually upgraded to this shadow box that I got from Desairs. I took out the backing bit and put in some um, foam core with corkboard on it, just cut to size, rather shoddily I might add, and stuck that in. So these are all my pins, and I like this this frame because it's got those easy to move tabs so that I can keep adding into it and it doesn't hurt my fingers to do that. Alright, so these are the first three pins and they were in my previous video so if you want to see more detail on them, not that there's too much more to share, uh, they will be in that video. I will link it below. And they're all by the same artist. This is a newer edition. Uh, I got this over the summer and I just love the details and the colors and all the little fruit. It's a quite a big one. I think it's almost two inches tall with that straw and it's on rose gold. Nothing on the back and just a really pretty pin. A little bit of sparkle on the top too which is nice. These pins I got at Fan Expo and they are some of my favorites. They're the cities from the Pokemon games. I only got three of them. She did do a couple more. I think that the fact that she's added little bits of washi tape and little small souvenirs makes it look like a scrapbook and that is really adorable. She didn't put a logo or anything on the back unfortunately but I know who the artist is and you can go find her on her Instagram and whatnot. She does still have these for sale online I believe. They just feel really nice and smooth and the colors are good and the lines are nice and clean. So overall I'm really happy with these ones they look really pretty. The Kanto pin is my favorite just because I like the color balance, the nice blue and the green and the red. I think it looks really nice as a, as a piece and I like the Pokeball at the top corner. So these ones, most of them you've seen. You've seen the color wheel and you've seen Krom, but that blue blur is new. So this one I ordered off the Yeti. And I tried to look online to see who the artist was, and I don't think I could find it. And it's not available anymore, so unfortunately, I don't think you can get this pin. But I'm a big Sonic the Hedgehog fan, and I really like it. I think the colors could be a little brighter, and I might not necessarily have chosen the dark metal, but it looks really awesome. This one I got at a trade from an artist in Fan Expo, Justin Y. I don't know if he sells them online, but I'll link his information below, and you can try to contact him if you want to get one. This one's really cute, I actually really like it. The all gray scale is a nice change. And these are the pins that myself and Scott designed. They're available on our Etsy. And you may have seen them before on my Instagram if you follow me there. Little jump man based on our favorite plumber. He was not as popular, but I still really like him. And we put our three sided logo there. Super cute. And these magic potions. Uh, we've got the HP, the red one, and MP, the blue one, to restore magic. Those ones have been more popular. I love this one the most because it's got the little polka dots and it's got the metal and it's pretty and cute. That's just our logo pin. So all of these are available online, so go check them out. Except the only thing that bothers me is they put the logo on a weird way in that one, but it's not like you're gonna see it on display. All right, so these ones are all mostly new except for the gamepad, which you saw before. The skull pad, rather, and the VHS one. Both were from the Yeti. This one I got a couple months ago by Jackalope Factory. It's just a little Game Boy. This pin, actually, I would say is a B grade because there is a bit of a, like a bump right, right where my thumb is. It's covering it, but it doesn't really matter. This is one I got at Fan Expo. I did get a lot at Fan Expo, actually which was bad and good. And it's a little companion cube from Portal. I just like the combination of the flowers and foliage and stuff. It looks really pretty. This one is from a Russian company called Serious About, and they're on Etsy, and they have really beautiful, vibrant pins, and they're all soft enamel mostly, which normally isn't something I go for, but it does allow them to pack in quite a lot of detail and nice bright colors. And I think this one looks really cool. And they've got their little logo and their name on the back, which is something I, that I should do for my next pins. This guy is so cute. It's by Double Feature, or Feature Feature. 
and he's just a little BMO Game Boy. BMO from Adventure Time and the classic Game Boy mashup. And it's a nice pin, the nice logo on the back, and it's really smooth and shiny, feels nice in the hand. And here's just a size comparison with the Jackalope Factory one. Yeah, so it's still good size, and I love the little game console, he's so cute. Yeah, I like this one, and it feels nice to run your thumb over, which is something I like to do, but <laughs> I'm a very tactile person, so the way things feel is important to me. And these ones feel nice. And the headroom to put a nice big logo on the back, which is awesome. These ones mostly are ones you've all seen before. Actually, I think they are all ones you've seen before, so if you want to pause it and check them out, you can, but I'm not really going to do close-ups on them because they should be in the other video. All right, these ones are all trades from Fan Expo as well. So this one was by the girl who was in the booth beside myself and Scott at Fan Expo, and we did a little trade for this cute magpie pin. The pin itself is a bit thinner metal. I'm not sure what it's made of, but it doesn't feel as substantial as the other ones in my collection. But still very pretty. We've got this little potion thing. Yeah, I kept walking past this booth and eyeing it because I like the combination of the metal leaves and the leaves filled with enamel. I think it makes a really nice balance. So we ended up trading one of our potions for one of their potions, which was cool. We got this giant pin. This pin has to go in the bottom left corner of my pin collection board, but that's fine by me. It's got lots of little delicate details, like pretty little stars and the text, which came out very crisp, which is impressive. And yeah, it's just a, a pretty pin, if a bit of an awkward shape, but I think the, uh, the colors and the line work are really beautiful on this one. All right, these are some ones that I've gotten more recently, except for the sketchbook and the banana I got from Van Expo as well. They're kind of grouped arbitrarily. So this one is by my good friend Taryn. She's got a couple of pin designs, but we did a trade for this one and I think it's really cool. I like the simplicity of it and the use of the dark metal is nice. I love this one. I really want to get more of this collection by this artist because they've got a bunch of little walking fruit guys. But Scott really liked the three butts. <laughs> he just thinks it's so funny. I mean, I do too. And it's nice shiny gold. And their little logo on the back is nice. So yeah, this overall this is a really cute pin. And it's a nice simple one too to juxtapose with all the complicated ones that I gravitate towards. This one, of course, I, I love rainbows. This is by an artist who does a lot of pride-related stuff, and I think this one is really cool. And I just, I mean, I love rainbows, and I like the way she's designed it. It doesn't look gaudy or excessive. It just looks nice and clean. This was actually a B-grade pin, but there's only one tiny little dot on it, and you can't even tell. And good logo on the back, which is always important. This one I really like too. I ordered this one over Black Friday and it took a while to ship because of the Canada Post strike, but when I did get it, it was great. I just think it's nice and simple too. And it's got those little divoted edges, just like pixels would be. Nothing fancy on the back. Slightly off center though. This one I really love, but unfortunately I think I got a B grade, even though I paid full price. You can see there's like a mark where the on the something fishy area, right in the yellow bit, but it's still a beautiful pin and I love it. It's by Liz Harry and she just, her designs are really great. I almost wish I'd ordered another one, a different one as well, but I'll just have to wait till she does another launch. But uh, the typography and the colors are just so eye-catching on this one. I think this is my biggest pin. It's a pretty big one, but totally worth it. These ones are all by the same artist, Joanna Bahar, and I don't think I had them in my collection last time. But I've had the pixel heart and the, the little gems for a while now. But these are some of my favorite pins in my whole collection. I love pixel art and I love the way she's got it translated into pins. So the first three are these adorable little gems, which, I mean, you can't go wrong with these guys, they're so cute. 
and they're very tiny, which I like as well. Kind of like good for board fillers if you like to or arrange your board like that. You know, just little gaps in between. And they've got her initials on the back, which is important. She's got really good branding on her site, and her store is kind of what I'm maybe aspiring to have. She does a lot of pin designs, and she's got a really good following. I love these pixel hearts. Look at that, all that screen printed color in the middle. You can just sort of see the delineation. It looks so crisp and clean. Yeah, and I like the way they feel. They're very small though, so they're hard to handle. So cute. And again, the monograms on the back. I love this one. This is one of the newest ones. I got it, uh, I think it launched like a week after Black Friday, so should they should all still be in her shop. So I ordered this one, the Pride Heart, and the Bomb. And um, I ordered some lace locks, which I didn't include in this video. And she just gave me the Science is Real one as a freebie, which is super awesome. And I also like that one too. But just look at that. All those colors there are so intricate. This bomb is so cute too. It's important to think about color balance actually when you're designing your pin boards. A lot of people do like all black pins, all white pins or whatever. But I just like it to have a nice visual color balance, but my board is only one board, so I'm not really expanding it yet. I don't know that I necessarily want to have like giant pin collections where you can't even really admire the individual pins. I want them to feel special even though I have a lot of them. But anyways, this one's really cute too. I like the typography and it's nice and shiny. It had a bit of dirt on it, but I just polished it up with my glasses wipe and it looks perfect. And this is a collaborative piece with O plus Usor and Joanna, so it's a cool one. These guys are super tiny. I ordered them around Halloween and they're from, I think she's from Vancouver, but they're so cute and the, I don't know how, what the technique is, but I guess the metal's just painted. Oh, they're so cute. They just look like, I have no way to describe it apparently. I love the little face on the back. And you really couldn't fit anything on the back of those, like in terms of a monogram. So this is by a California artist that I really like. Her name's Allison Bamcat, and she does so much stuff. And she does murals, and she's in like a million shows. She's a really cool artist. You should definitely check her out. She's got these super awesome pins, and these. This one I like because it's a little island, and I'm, I've always been a fan of sort of isolated, contained little ecosystems, and that's kind of what this island does for me. Got her name on the back, which is good branding. This watermelon too is pretty neat. I like the rose gold on both of these. Yeah, she does a lot of fruit related things, which I definitely love. This one is from, I think somebody in Canada as well. And I think this is the sword from Adventure Time last season, which I haven't watched yet, but I saw this and I thought it was really cute. And I knew that I liked Adventure Time, so I just ordered it anyways. I like little details, like the little star in the handle and stuff. This is pretty. The metal is a little pocked on the front, but that doesn't really bother me. It's still a really nice pin. These ones are all sort of pinky. Um, I got the Flower Oni pin at Ben Expo, and then the other two I ordered more recently. The Flower Oni might be one of my favorite ones. It's by Maruti Bitamin as she goes on Instagram. And this is by the manufacturer that I'm actually using for my first Kickstarter campaign. And I just think the quality of this pin is so nice, so hopefully mine come out similarly, fingers crossed. But I love the rose gold and it's so thick and the detail is nice and it's beautiful. Yeah, this one is really, really beautiful pin. Design and manufacturing of it, so. Definitely one of my tops. And it's a fairly large one too. Nothing on the back though. This little house is adorable. It kind of reminds me of the Simpsons house a little bit, slightly, but it's also kind of like a Polly Pocket house. 
This designer does a lot of like cutesy 90s toy referential stuff. So I don't know, I just thought it was adorable. I love the, uh, the fine detail as well. And this one, these are so beautiful. This one was a bit expensive. The set I think was almost $30 Canadian. But two beautiful pins. I mean, I, I would have done without the flower, but I still really like it. But I just love that cockatiel. I think the, uh, the design of it is really elegant and really beautiful. She has four designs of birds and flowers in total, and I had a hard time deciding which one I wanted. They're all really beautiful. So if you like this aesthetic, you should go check her stuff out because she has more like this. Okay, so these ones, unfortunately, I don't know that you guys will be able to get. My husband ordered the big black box from Mike Mitchell, which was basically just a mystery pack of stuff by Mike Mitchell um, that was limited edition. And we got three enamel pins in it, and I was so happy. So got this little rainbow with his winking face on the back. And I, I looked online, and I don't know. I didn't find them anywhere, so... And this is his logo, his little Skull Boy logo. And I really like the debossed teeth that he's got there. I think that's a really nice touch. And a good use of the, the shiny metal as a, as a color component. A lot of people just treat the metal as an outline, but it is also very useful to use it in your design as more than that. This bird, so intricate. I think the wood part must be brown screen printed onto the black nickel because it's such fine detail. And I think the white is enamel, but I think the blue is screen printed on too. It's hard to tell because I have really bad eyesight, but it looks so crisp and so intricate. Look, look at that. I was really pleased with this pin. I think it's so cute. I love all Mike Mitchell's chubby birds. So these are all the pins I have right now. I just love them. I think they're so fun and so shiny and they're a great way to support an artist if you don't want to spend lots and lots of money on original art, you can get a pin. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this very, very long video. I will see you in the next one.